It's a Utah tradition. And stretching back generations. Doesn't get more grand than that. Grandkids brought out by grandparents, which is a repeating cycle. My grandma actually brought me to this long ago, but um, yeah, been doing, we do it all the time. I drag them out five o'clock in the morning. The parade is the big draw. Floats, marching bands, and dignitaries. But before they hit the streets, runners and walkers entertain the early crowd. From a 5K to a full marathon, we spotted Stuart and Christina. The energy at a race is just like so infectious. It's like a warm up act for the people coming early or even camping out for their parade seats. They, in turn, pump up the runners. Best part, all the people here. Yep. Sarah Youngberg goes above and beyond. We're just holding up signs for everyone in the uh, running and then in the parade. Her family has been pumping up runners and parade participants for 10 years now. They have a stack of signs at the ready. You can do it for running. Gorgeous horse. Radical shoes, that's a runner. It's a big feedback loop. People lining a parade route to be entertained, but a few also entertaining from the sidelines to keep the cycle going. It's just fun to see people's face light up when they like read a sign, especially people on the float because they're just waving, but seeing like feedback from people in the crowd, that's more than just clapping. In Salt Lake City, Lincoln Graves, KUTV, 2 News.